At the end of the previous video, you have seen the CGI and the server scopes. You have seen that these two scopes each contain a bunch of data. In other words, a single variable, server is a variable and CGI is another variable, a single variable contains, in this case, a bunch of data. Now, how is that at all possible? How can a single variable contain a bunch of data? Well, it is time for you to meet some more complex data types used in cold fusion. And the first one we will talk about in this video is the cold fusion structure. A structure in cold fusion is a complex data type, or in other words, a complex variable. It means that it is a variable that is able to store multiple pieces of information under a single variable name. Now, inside of that variable, inside of the structure, each piece of information is stored in a key value pair. Now, what does that mean? And most importantly, how can we create such a structure? Now, ColdFusion offers us two methods to create a structure. The first method is called the explicit notation. And in the explicit notation, we use a bunch of CF set statements to create a structure. The first one, CF set st user equals struct new, that is the statement that creates a variable. In this case, the variable is called st user. And inside of that variable, we create an empty structure. Struct new is a function of cold fusion that returns an empty structure. Now, the second CF set statement will add a first key value pair inside of that structure. So we say st user dot first name equal Damien. So in this case, first name is the key and Damien is the value. We have then a third CF set statement that creates a second key value pair. So here, last name is the key, st user dot last name, and Brindongs is the value, that's my last name. Then we have a, th a fourth CF set statement that creates a third key value pair. The key is h and 39 is the value. So we end up with a single variable, which is the st user in this case variable, that contain all three pieces of information. Now, the second way of creating a structure is called the implicit notation. And in that notation, we use a single CF set statement to create the structure. You see that we use the curly braces to symbolize the structure. And inside of those curly braces, we have the three key pairs values separated by a comma. If you use CF dump to dump that ST user structure on the screen, you will uh, have that result. You will have that image that just appeared on the screen, a single structure that contains all three pieces of information. Now, we can create uh, structures, that's one thing, but we can also manipulate those structures. And to manipulate structures, CoFusion gives us lots and lots and lots of functions. Now, here are some of those functions. One function is called struct delete. And you see in the parenthesis, we have to tell two things to that function. We have to give that function the name of a structure and the name of a key. And what that function does is deleting the specified key in the specified structure. So if I invoke that function and I say struct delete, and then I open the parenthesis and I say st user comma first name and close the parenthesis, I will delete the first name key inside of the st user structure. And I will end up with a st user structure with only two remaining pieces of information, two keys. Another uh, function here is struct clear. In that case, I just have to tell that function in which structure I want to do things. And that function will delete all the key of the structure that we pass in the parenthesis, leaving an empty structure at the end. We also have struct count, which counts the number of key in the specified structure. And at the end here, a very practical function, which is struct key exists. We have to tell uh, two things also to that function the name of a structure and the name of a key. And that function will check if the key that we pass in the parenthesis exists in the structure that we pass in the parenthesis. This is a very practical and a very common way of checking if an information exists. Those are some of the structure functions inside of Cold Fusion. 
And now I have to tell you about functions in Core Fusion. So the Core Fusion language, the CFML language, it's made of tags, and we already know some of those tags. We know the CF set tag, we know the, the CF output tag, and the CF dump tag, and we have a lot more tags to learn in this course. But in addition to tags, we also have function in the CFML language. Now, if you want to have a list of tags and function, you can see the online documentation of Core Fusion. For us, in the next video, we'll experiment with those structures and we will uh, try to see some more structure functions of Cold Fusion.